Chris Santa Ana. I think that's how you say it. About to get some training in. Starting the day early, man. We, the flight was 7 a.m. We're in California. It's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be beaches out here. Oh, there's a car that tried to kill us. Rob, any words for the people? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, I'll do. Texting group chat. I got an Airbnb house next to the beach. And then I'm like, I don't read the rest of them. I just bring like all swimming shorts and everything. So cold here, bro. Thank God I have this one and this one. I don't have any other warm clothes. So it's cold here. So, Are yeah. you excited for the beaches, bro? The no, beaches? No, I'm a good guy. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, ready. They ready are you ready mother. to grapple with these two? Them two? Yeah. Yeah, these fuck mothers are not ready. <laughs> Today I packed my skills. <laughs> We're at the gym over here. I actually don't know the name of it. Ultimate Training Center, is what I think is what it's called. Today's supposed to be like an MMA day. Let's see how they do things over here, how they run their practices. Get some work in and uh, hopefully it's a good morning session. And then we're gonna get another one later tonight. But it's a cool little facility. Got the cage, got the mat space. It's kind of similar to Law MMA in terms of like the, the room and just like the mat versus the cage. And then you got the bigger space with the lifting equipment, the bikes and stuff. So definitely more real estate, but this is very spot on with what we got pretty much back in New York. Who trains here? Uh, Archuleta, I think, Ortega, Dillashaw sometimes. So, we'll see. I don't know who else is really here. But they said they got some good guys, some good, good bodies for us, so it should be interesting. We've got the Vegas crew, myself, Marab, and JP. And then uh, we've got the Cali boys. Who's better? I think we're all equal opportunity ass kickers. Oh, the workout was really good. Just finished up training with these guys, Brian Ortega, Juan Archuleta. Um, one of the guys' name is Sparky, something like that. And another another homeboy. Good work overall, some good MMA blending. My weight, I don't know if these scales are accurate. There's two different ones. I was 141.1 and 155. So I'm gonna say that's probably why I felt so exhausted today and with the flight and everything, but good technique, breaking down position, mainly focusing on control. For me, I'm looking for submissions with the control. So I just wanna make sure I'm challenging myself and, and really trying to uh, gun for the finish. You know, So that's more so what it's about for me and my style. And uh, I like this, this type of pace, this type of a, a coaching style, which is focused on wrestling and working and striking into those positions and make sure you maintain those positions first before you go looking to do other things and lose those positions. You know, So it's very good um, fight IQ for me and more so blends in with the philosophy that I believe in for MMA as well. So all in all, good work. Um, thank you, Coach Paul. Thank you, Tiki. Um, and thank you to the training partners out here, Ortega and all these guys, it's been fun work. And I look forward to the rest of the week. Oh, food was great. Now I got the itis. I'm slumped right now. I could just nap in this car right now, honestly. Windows down under the shade or AC's on. We're gonna go check out the crib before the next session. That was good. Got to see a good friend, guy I lived with for a bit.
Today we did some drilling, working from the clinch positions, rotating with different partners, getting some different looks, uh, working in the striking in the clinch positions, just easing into it. That was like more so the warm up. After that, we moved into more uh, takedowns, some entries, finding some good positions. And at the end, we kind of just wrapped it up with some positional training. We did almost like a Shark Tank round to end, three five minute rounds, and we switched partners probably three or four times within that five minute span. Um, you escape, get in the top position or the defensive position, just working through back control, um, working through half guard, and also working through the sitting position against the cage. All positions that you primarily see in MMA. This guy actually is good. I'll just, just submit, submit me with Trianga. He can actually fight. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. Mother, we're going to hell and back. Some shark tank grounds to end off the day. Two good practices. Easy work, baby, let's go. Very good training here. Lots of position work on the ground. You know, Aljo and Archilara stays in. And then three guys, we just attacking. Always fresh guys goes in. It's really good work, actually. We've been working I don't know how many minutes already, but I think 10 minutes left. It's good work here, very good work. I got choked with some with some unorthodox shit today. Probably never gonna see that ever again. Um, so make sure you guys enjoy that one and save it because it doesn't happen very often. Uh, that's more so something up my alley that I got caught with it today. So that was cool. Just make sure you keep things in perspective. You know, it's just training and uh, working through the kinks and getting some good looks with some good guys. We're under five weeks right now for training, so this is more like a, I don't wanna say deload week, but towards the end of the week, I'm gonna take it easy once again, just more so focusing on staying healthy, doing workouts, like strength and conditioning stuff, just to kind of keep the body in order and taking it easy with the grappling leg. We're gonna obviously having a hard beginning of this week, but the last half of this week is going to be more uh, toning it down so that we can finish the last four weeks strong, which is really three working weeks, and the last week is just a weight cut. So. That's like the deload kind of theory behind it. So five round training camps are hard, man. They're very intense. And uh, as you guys can see, if you've been following the vlogs, man, we've been doing a lot of high intensity work, sparring with uh, fresh guys, switching each round and doing switching partners every minute in five rounds, you know? So we're doing the right work. And right now the training load is intense and we're gonna start to slow down just a little bit towards the end of the weekend, finish out strong. Now, we're gonna go get some food. I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet. One of the things I gotta tell you guys, is nothing like stepping into the octagon with your confidence on an all time high. That's why I partnered up with Tej Hanley, which is today's sponsor of this video. When you look good, you feel good, and that's where Tej Hanley comes in. Their level one skincare system provides all the products you need to take care of your skin, including a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, an SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. Implementing a quality skincare routine will improve your confidence in all aspects of your life, especially when you're competing. 
T Chainly makes taking care of your skin easy, uncomplicated. Their products are designed specifically for men and provide you with everything you need and nothing you don't. Plus, the instruction card that comes in every box tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order, which allows me to focus on my training. Don't just take my word for it though. T Chainly has over 5,000 five star reviews from customers around the globe who have had a significant improvement in their skin and their confidence. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley gets tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, access to exclusive monthly deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. Let's go. Hey guys, we're here at the corner. Never been here before down in Santa Ana, California. About to grab some food. Just finished up our second training session for the day. Looked at the menu. It looked appetizing. Let's see what they got. Time to go eat. This is a good french fry. Yeah. Mm. What would Keith Lee say? Amazing. I'm gonna give this... 9.27. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. It's very crispy, very nice. The ketchup is amazing too. The sauce, I don't know what that is, but that shit bomb. <laughs> I got this steak, the eight ounce steak, New York lock steak or some shit like that. Hopefully it's good. She picked that one for him. Pretty much. You picked this one actually originally. Damn. That's a is there maybe thick nearby? play. Take, this is Adam's, right? I used to take this all the way down this way, closer to like down, like, I think they reached down 10 area. Okay. I used to live across the street from like literally my oh, house wow. here. Tito Ortiz's dad. That's got like some really good flavor. And, uh, but they did like seasoning. Keto. So, and the steak's pretty good too. It's super nice. Yeah. We're like a mile from this. Yeah. This is actually a really good place. Mm -hmm. Fries, the steak. That was a pasta. Mm -hmm. And then JP's got the chicken. Uh, it's a chicken, really good, fresh, pretty fire, right? Yeah, it's just good. Rabbit's loading up on carbs. He's like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of everybody tomorrow. <laughs>